Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Um, we're going to be doing a Lover's Triangle spread today, so an Enchanted Love Triangle. So I guess these you know, messages here today are more tailored for those of you that are wrapped up in a Lover's Triangle situation of some sort. Um, of course these messages you know, still remain general, so please just you know, be mindful of that. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first question, and that's how do they feel about you? The Wheel of Fortune, but it's in reverse. It's also out of frame. Okay, um, how do they feel about you here? They currently feel as though some sort of external factors are um, sort of impacting your relationship. Okay, they're affecting your relationship, your connection with this person. So um, they feel as though the two of you aren't, because of these external factors, the two of you aren't really communicating or connecting that in a way that they want them, that they they want the two of you to connect. These external factors could be the third party. Okay, it could be the fact that this person is in a relationship or you're in a relationship, and therefore they feel as though you know the two of you can't really sort of explore your connection because of this. They also feel like maybe other aspects could be in you, like there could be other aspects, whether it's in their life or your life, that sort of preventing this relationship it's sort of there are other aspects it could be career friendship it could be other projects that you have going on or just other things that you have going on that are sort of preventing or getting in the way of this connection so there's some delays okay your person i feel like is hoping for something but they feel as though maybe you have been delaying something here or the world just keeps throwing like a wrench okay delays here like an unexpected wrench into your plans here um They feel as though they have no control here, okay? They feel as though they have no control over their emotions or over the situation here as well. So your person feels a little bit like they're losing the control here. They want to communicate openly, but they don't know how to go about this. So your person, I feel like, you know, they want to talk, but I feel like there, there's a lot of things... It could be them though, they could be spiraling out of control, it could be their emotions, it could be things that are impacting them. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's a lack of control here. They feel like maybe your connection is going backwards, like they feel like you're not making a lot of progress here. Or like, you, you know, your connection hasn't grown all that much with them. Are they involved with others? You've got the page of wands, it's blown out of camera are they involved with others you okay page of wands is someone who is i mean all pages are emotionally immature okay and the page of wands is someone who is on a constant quest for adventure so it's very likely that there may be even if they're not actually physically involved with others it's very likely that they may be trying to chat up with others or it's very likely that if you know the prospect of a um you know, a, a potential compatible romantic partner were to come along, that they would jump ships, okay? It's likely that this person may have a wandering eye, or there may be energies around them, romantic energies around them, who can easily catch their attention. So they've got a bit of a restless kind of energy. I don't know that your person actually wants commitment, or that I don't know that they want a relationship. They may feel like they want the convenience of it, but with the act, without the actual commitment. Okay, so your person is also a little bit emotionally immature or juvenile. I don't know that they've ever actually been in the, in the, in a proper like long term relationship before. Um, I don't know that this person is aware of like fully aware of their actions as well. So. Even if they are attached to someone else, I, I, I feel like it's not going to be long term because I see them moving on very quickly. It's a very restless kind of energy. And I feel like I'm going to put that down to them having to... There's a lot of things that they have to still learn about themselves and about other people, about you know relationships and building connections in general. So I feel like this person still, you know, they still want to... I feel like fun is what they see, they seek, thrill, you know, thrill seeking. I also feel like, you know, the forbidden fruit entices them you know the thrill of the chase the thrill of the hunt um i feel like that all adds to their allure to you know to the allure here as well so i see that you know your person whilst they not may not necessarily be currently involved with someone 
with someone else, I don't know that they're ready for a relationship either. Or I feel like their involvement with someone else is more because... You know, it's for the sake, it's fun and it's adventure and it's excitement here. And I feel like this is what you, this person is seeking. Okay. I, as I've also said, I'm also seeing emotional mat immaturity or uh, juvenile behavior. It could be that maybe this is how they see your relationship though. If they are involved in a partnership, it could be that, you know, there is a lack of passion. There's a lack of excitement. There's a lack of romantic adventure in the relationship. And they actually are seeking these things outside of their relationship so instead of trying to work on you know those things in their relationship they're finding it outside of the relationship and they're finding it with you here so third question are they wanting commitment with you solely the world card here are they wanting commitment with you solely You've got a lot of like cycles here. I feel like it's very likely that this connection that you have might come to an end, okay? Or I feel like that someone here, I don't know if it's your energy or their energy, I feel like someone here, you may pose an ultimatum. It may, you know, they may say, you know, we either give this a proper go and you end your connection with that person in order to explore, you know, the connection that you have with me, or we just end this all together. I either see an ultimatum coming in or I see that this relationship is going to come, eventually it's going to come to an end. Because, yes, there is, you know, there is passion, there is excitement. But with the Wheel of Fortune, there's also a lack of progress. And, you know, if you're not progressing, you're standing still. And that's a lack of growth. So with the World Card, I feel like things are coming to a combination or to an ending of some sort. Tying up loose ends. For some of you, maybe this is... It could be an ex, okay, and the world card tells us that the reason why, you know, you're, you're involved with this person is that the two of you are sort of trying to rediscover maybe certain aspects about yourself or certain aspects that you sort of miss in, in a relationship, okay, because I feel like there's a, there's a rediscovery of some sort with the world card or just, you know, revisiting memories for old times sake because the two of you might have had, you know, great sexual chemistry and although you've ended the connection, the chemistry is still there. It hasn't feels all that. Maybe that's what you're re-exploring. Because with the world card, I get a sense that this person is... Uh, I don't feel like... I mean, you could be. I could be... I could also see this as the two of you might connect once again in the future. Okay? But to me, I'm, the world card is more... I'm leaning more towards this ending. Okay? This coming to a combination or an ending of some sort. But I feel like there's some sort of lesson here. I do. I feel like this connection, there's a lesson in this connection here. And if you don't, and there's patterns here. Okay, I feel like this connection, you do this song and dance every time. And if you don't break certain patterns, this is going to go nowhere. Okay, guys, and this is your reading. Thank you, as always, for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.